to all the beloved children of God, in humble obedience to the divine will and with patience, I continue to share the sacred revelations bestowed upon us from heaven. These divine calls are not my own but belong to each of you. They are given with the purpose that they might be embraced and put into practice by all. I have been shown a vision of a storm of unprecedented might, forming in the vast expanse of the heavens. This tempest, unlike any other, is so powerful that it draws in every cloud within miles of its center. The storm's energy is so immense that it creates a vacuum, pulling the surrounding atmosphere into its swirling fury. The skies, once filled with the comforting presence of clouds, are left barren and desolate, an eerie prelude to the oncoming devastation. As the storm advances, the nations in its path will experience a scorching heat unlike anything previously known. The sun will blaze with an intensity that scorches the earth, a fierce precursor to the storm's arrival. This relentless heat serves as a divine signal, a warning that the storm is near and that the time for repentance and preparation is now. Dear beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, we have just received an urgent message from Luz de Maria, revealing this vision of the tempest as a divine call to each child of God. It urges us to recognize the urgency of the times and to strengthen our faith and spirit. Just as the storm engulfs everything in its path, so too must we embrace the cleansing fire of repentance to purify our souls, paving the way for divine intervention and grace that will sustain us through the forthcoming trials. As we stand on the brink of a new era, it is crucial that we heed the solemn call for reflection and preparation. The signs of our times are unmistakable, and the wrath of God looms large over nations that have deviated from His path. The Lord, in His boundless wisdom and righteousness, is preparing to reveal His divine justice upon the earth in ways that are both awe-inspiring and fearsome. This message serves as both a dire warning and a beacon of hope, urging each of us to seek refuge in the Lord and to fortify our spirits in anticipation of the challenges ahead. Scripture reminds us that the Lord's patience has limits. In the book of Revelation, we are told, For the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? Revelation 6 verse 17. This is a time when God's patience runs thin and His divine displeasure is poured out upon the earth. Similarly, in the Old Testament, the prophet Ezekiel warns of the consequences of nations' transgressions. And I will execute judgments upon you in the sight of the nations. Ezekiel 5 verse 8. These passages serve as a sobering reminder that God's justice is both real and imminent, especially when nations persist in defiance of His commandments. In recent weeks, we have witnessed the formation of a monstrous storm system, an extraordinary meteorological phenomenon that mirrors the catastrophic judgments described in the scriptures. This storm, as it gathers strength, reveals itself as a harbinger of divine wrath, set to strike with unprecedented ferocity. The storm's development, akin to a great tempest rising from the depths of the sea, is a clear signal from heaven that the nations are approaching a time of reckoning. Pray for the nations of China, Japan, South Korea, and the Philippines. This colossal tempest is expected to make landfall on the coasts of these countries, particularly those that have, in recent years, turned away from the righteousness of God. The very forces of nature, unleashed in their most destructive form, will serve as a divine correction to nations that have strayed from the path of justice and faithfulness. The violent winds, torrential rains, and catastrophic flooding that accompany such a storm will not only cause physical devastation, but will also be a spiritual wake-up call, urging people to return to God with earnest hearts. As this storm approaches, it is crucial to recognize the gravity of the situation. The impact on the nations in its path will be severe. Coastal cities in the United States, Mexico, and the Bahamas will face overwhelming storm surges as the seas rise with a fury that has not been seen in our time. The very earth will tremble under the weight of relentless rainfall, leading to widespread flooding that will inundate communities, 
and displace countless individuals, the destruction will be more than just physical. As homes and infrastructure are ravaged, lives will be turned upside down, families will be separated, livelihoods disrupted, and economies will falter under the immense pressure of nature's wrath. The storm will serve as a poignant reminder of the fragility of human endeavors and the need for steadfast faith in God's providence. We must turn back to God with sincere hearts, earnestly seeking His mercy and guidance. This storm, while a symbol of divine wrath, also represents a profound opportunity for redemption and renewal. As we face this formidable trial, it is crucial to understand that through heartfelt repentance and steadfast faith, we can find solace and protection amidst the chaos that lies ahead. Our spiritual preparation must begin with earnest repentance and prayer. We should engage deeply in prayer, asking for forgiveness for both personal and collective transgressions. Let our hearts be truly contrite and our spirits humbly submissive before the Lord, seeking His grace to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This act of repentance is not merely a formality but a sincere plea for divine mercy, essential for our spiritual well-being. In addition to repentance, strengthening our faith is vital. We must reaffirm our commitment to God by immersing ourselves in His Word. Deepening our understanding of Scripture will help us live according to His commandments and align our lives with His will. This spiritual discipline will fortify our faith, preparing us to face the coming trials with courage and trust in God's providence. Furthermore, it is imperative that we extend support and compassion to our community. Reach out to those in need, offering assistance and comfort during this time of crisis. Our collective strength and empathy can be a powerful source of solace, providing aid and encouragement to those who are struggling. In times of calamity, our unity and kindness can shine as a beacon of hope and solidarity. While our spiritual preparation is of utmost importance, we must not overlook practical readiness. Ensure that you have the necessary supplies and plans in place to protect yourself and your loved ones from the physical impacts of the storm. This includes preparing an emergency kit with essential items, securing your home, and having a clear plan for evacuation if necessary. Practical preparedness complements our spiritual efforts, helping us to face the storm with a balanced approach. Amid divine judgment, there is also hope. The storm, though fierce, is but a part of God's larger plan to purify and renew. As we navigate these challenging times, let us remember that God's intervention is not solely punitive, but also redemptive. Just as He guided Noah through the flood and delivered Israel from the bondage of Egypt, so too will He provide a path through this trial. In the aftermath of the storm, there will be opportunities for healing and rebuilding. The devastation will give way to a new beginning, where faith and righteousness can flourish once more. Let us hold fast to the promise of God's love and grace, which will sustain us through the darkest of times. As we face the impending storm and the divine judgment it represents, let us approach this time with both seriousness and hope. May the Lord's grace guide us through these trials, and may our hearts remain steadfast in faith and trust. Let us take this moment to reflect, prepare, and seek the Lord with all our hearts. In doing so, we will find refuge and strength in His loving arms, and we will emerge from this trial renewed and steadfast in our faith. May God bless you and protect you in these uncertain times.